Hello, today we'll be looking at your SEBA Pro 4C, how to set it up, and how to use the SEBA View software. Your packaged component should include your SEBA share card, a USB, immersion oil, empty objective holders, a stage, eyepieces, and a mouse and keyboard, your SEBA Pro 4C, and your power cord. Using the condenser height adjuster, lower the condenser until the flip-out lens is level with the stage mount. Using the focusing knobs, lower the entire assembly until it is as low as it will go and touches the base of the microscope. After removing your stage from the packaging, we must ensure that the set screw is positioned out of the way so the stage can be installed onto your SEBA Pro 4C. Look to the back right of the body of your SEBA Pro 4C to find your hex allen key tool. Using your hex allen key tool, adjust the stage set pin counterclockwise, ensuring that the pin is clear of the inner edge of the stage assembly. Looking at the back of your stage, you will see the ring that will go around the stage mount. These dovetails will be going at the back of the stage mount. Put the stage over the stage mount at a slight angle. You may need to move the stage, but ensure the dovetails latch onto the back of the stage mount. Holding onto the bottom of the stage to ensure that it's all the way forward, use your thumbs and push the whole stage back. Make sure that there is no gap between the back microscope body and the stage. Using your hex allen tool, adjust the stage set pin clockwise to tighten the stage onto the stage mount. This may take several revolutions of the allen key. Once you feel the stage starting to contact the stage mount, pull forward on the bottom of the stage and tighten the rest of the way. Ensure the stage is stable. Remove the eyepieces from their packaging and insert the eyepieces into the eye tubes. Repeat for both sides. Set the interpupillary distance so you can see clearly through both eyepieces and then set the height to your comfort. Remove the nose piece inserts from the packaging and insert them into the slots underneath the eyepieces. This is to protect the microscope from dust. For any magnification, 10x or greater, make sure the swing out condenser is in the upright position. Plug in the microscope, then push the power button to the on position for at least 5 seconds to ensure that the system boots up and that the illumination turns on. Using the coarse and fine focus knob, bring your sample into a nice, crisp, clear focus. Close down the field diaphragm and the condenser diaphragm as low as they will go. Using the condenser height adjuster, move the condenser up and down until there's a crisp edge on the aperture on screen. Using the condenser positioning screws, move the image of the aperture until it's in the middle of your screen. Open up the field diaphragm to check that the edges are going off the top and the sides at the same time. That means the microscope is in alignment. Next, open up the condenser diaphragm and match this number to this number on your current objective. This will ensure that there is an appropriate amount of light going to your current objective for the best resolution. The screen on the Pro 4C can turn counterclockwise 90 degrees and clockwise a full 180 degrees. On the back of your screen is your HDMI port. There's one USB slot on the side and three in the back, which can be used for storage and peripherals. To capture an image, press the camera icon. To record video, press the camcorder icon. To stop, press the stop button. To access your settings, click the settings icon. 
On the left side of your settings is your preview resolution. The lower the number this is, the faster the unit will respond, and the higher it is, the better the resolution on screen. I find a balance is right in the middle between performance and resolution. The center settings are your camera resolution. The smaller the number, the lower the resolution, and the higher the number, the higher the resolution. Be careful, higher resolutions can result in large files. The last row of settings are the file types you can save as. To choose where to save your files, you can hit the directory button. We recommend you leaving it at its default, but you can store it where you would like. To access a USB, first insert the USB, hit directory, and it should be listed under the D drive. You can use these settings to mirror or flip the image to match the image in the eyepieces. Down here are your Wi-Fi settings and your Bluetooth settings. To access your camera settings, hit the slider button. You can turn the auto exposure off. We recommend to leave it on, but if you would like to use the manual controls, you may by turning it off. To adjust it with the auto exposure on, use this slider to adjust. White balance an image. Move to a part of the screen that is completely white and hit the button labeled WB. Below are the camera settings. You can change them if you'd like, but we recommend leaving them at default values. Restore the camera settings to default, hit the restore default button. If you find a setting you like, feel free to save it into one of the user presets by selecting the user preset you would like and hitting save. To load a previously saved user preset, click on the preset you would like and hit load. Pick an annotating, click on the icon of the ruler and pencil. There are three common annotations, the line, the pin, and the option to add text to your photos. To add a line, click the line button. It will appear in the top left. Move it to where you would like it to be positioned on screen, and click the boxes at each end to adjust the length. You can change the line width, the font size, To display the length in units of micrometers, click on the calibrated value here that matches your current objective. To add a number to pin to your image, click on the pin icon and look for the pin in the top left corner and position it on the image where you would like it to be. To add text to your image, click the T icon and add the text you would like to appear. Hit OK. Look for it in the top left and position it wherever you would like on screen. It is important to note you must use the save icon here to save your annotated image, not the camera icon. Do not use the camera icon to save annotated images. To delete your annotations, click on the icon of sheets of papers with a trash can. Click it to delete all annotations. Click on the photo icon to access your gallery. To select an image, click the image. To delete an image, hit the delete button at the bottom left of the gallery. To log into your SEBA Share account, tap your SEBA Share card to the SEBA logo on the front of the microscope right under the eyepieces. Once logged into your SEBA Share account, click the SEBA Share icon, choose a folder to save it to, and hit OK. Please see our other videos on the SIBA Share software for more information. To return to taking live images, click the button that says Live. Thank you for purchasing your Laxco SIBA Pro 4C Digital Hybrid Microscope. We hope you enjoy your time with your Laxco system.